Hey, all my, all my father's children, Minister Lord Spade, to God be the glory. I thank God for this blessed day. I thank God for you. It's a little brisk out here, but you know what? God is still in the blessing business, and we're still in the land of the living. And I praise God for that. And I and I'm thinking about how how we went through all of this stuff that's going on with this coronavirus, but still how we have come this far by faith because it hadn't been for the Lord to help us through, where would we be? And I like to think about faith about, see, here's the thing about faith. You never know how much you have until you need it. I'm reminded of this when my mom passed away. You know, I always dreaded the day that my mom would leave me and I used to ask the Lord, Lord, please let me go because I don't think that I could handle it to lose my mom. But you know, let me tell you something. God was already preparing me. I just didn't know how much. And he also prepared me to walk in her footsteps and to assume the role model to be the matriarch of my immediate family. See, God already knows what's going to happen. So I'm reminded of Hebrews 11 when it says that faith is a thing hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Let me tell you something. Without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. And everything that we go through, if we just have faith the size of a mustard seed, we can say mountain be moved and the mountain will have to move. And so if I had to preach a sermon from Hebrews 11, 1 through 8, it would be that we come this far by faith. Let me tell you, in this day and age, in times like these, if it wasn't for faith on our side, trusting that the Lord is going to bring us out, or we would all be consumed. We know that God's mercies is new each and every day, and he let our golden moments roll on. But if it had not been for faith, see, let me tell you something about faith. Faith is what you have, but you can't see. When we get in our automobiles, we just assume that it's going to start and it's going to take us to our destination. It's not that the car is so good. It's our mindset. But let me tell you, so many times, and especially in the winter, when we go out there and our car don't start, you know, our faith is crushed because we put faith in something that can let us down. But I'm telling you, the word of God, it holds true. God will never leave us nor forsake us. So if I had to speak for a few minutes, it would be we come this far by faith. Leaning on the Lord, knowing that he has brought me through, uh, through danger seen and unseen. Uh, and I feel like uh, telling somebody uh, it is for faith uh, that I've walked on, uh, had some hard times in my life. Uh, but faith uh, has brought me through. Uh, uh, amazing grace said faith um, that brought me safe thus far and faith uh, will lead me home. Uh, I know a lot of times uh, I faith the windows. Uh, uh, when we in the storms of life seem like the storms want to Toss us to and fro. Uh, we have to pull onto the anchor. That solid rock uh, called Jesus. Uh, uh, the roads of Sharon. Uh, the fairs of 10,000. Uh, uh, the river uh, of the living water. Uh, uh, bread uh, uh, in a starving land. Uh, and I'm telling you, faith uh, uh, brought you safe thus far. Safe. Uh, we'll keep you home. I tell you one thing. Uh, you got to know about faith. Uh, Sometimes you got to go uh, in your war room uh, and ask the Lord, Lord, I, I, I don't know how I'm going to make it, uh, but I trust in you. Uh, I remember uh, Sister Novella used to say, uh, Lord, teach me how to wait. Uh, they that wait on the Lord shall renew uh, their strength. Uh, they shall mount up as wings, as eagles. Uh, they shall walk uh, and not be weary. God is good to us. And if you got faith, you can go 
a little while longer. Faith is what you have when you ain't got no money in the bank. But you know that God's going to make a way. Go to that mailbox and, and you realize that you got a credit on that utility bill because you trusted the Lord to take care of you. Faith will bring you all the way. You just got to trust in the Lord and say, Lord, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. I need faith to take me through this valley. I need faith to take me through this dark place. I need faith for you to be the light of the world. I need to walk and I'm going to run on. I remember Sister Gail used to sing a song. Said us too close to the mirror to see what I see. While you're raining your blessings down on me. But I believe I run on and I ask you how am I going to run on? I'm going to run on uh, in faith uh, because faith uh, has kept me safe thus far. Uh, faith uh, is going to lead me home. Uh, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt uh, that I got my ticket uh, in my hand. Uh, faith uh, brought me out uh, when a mental illness tried to take my mind. Faith uh, in the Lord uh, brought me out uh, when I thought that I was going to lose my life. Uh, and I keep on running on. Uh, because when I get low. Uh, I have to reach down. Uh, and God will pick you up. Even if you have to reach way down. Uh, Jesus uh, will pick you up. Jesus the lily of the valley. Uh, the fairest of 10,000. I want somebody uh, to help me lift Jesus. See what's going to make us get through this corona thing. Uh, is faith uh, in the Lord knowing. That he's gonna bring us out uh, because we're covered uh, in the blood. Uh, the blood uh, must not lose its power. Uh, you got blood uh, to walk on, uh, blood to run on. Uh, and one of these old days, uh, when this life is over, uh, I walk by faith, uh, not by sight. I know that one of these old days when this life is over, when this world can no longer afford me a home, I'm going to a place not made by hands in the eternal heavens. And how did I get there? You say, Minister Spate, how do you run on? How do you keep persevering when you get knocked down? When naysayers come on you, want to buck your ministries? I say, Faith in the Lord, and he will take care of me. He keep me running on just a little longer, and I'm going to run on this Christian journey. I know it's a tedious journey, but God, he rules, and he super rules. He rules in me, and I tell you one thing, I don't have a testimony. I got a testimony, because faith has brought me through when I couldn't see see my way, but faith brought me through the storm, faith brought me through the rain, faith brought me through tornadoes, one thing I know was a little country girl, didn't go to school much, but I kept on persevering, because I had a mama that had faith to raise Five children, huh? I tell you one thing, huh? She raises by herself, huh? But I tell you one thing, huh? She raised some strong children, huh? To depend on the Lord, huh? Uh, let me tell you something. Faith is what you have, huh? What you didn't know that you had until you needed it, huh? Let me tell you something. Keep on running on, huh? Boys and girls, huh? Men and women of God, huh? Tell somebody, huh? Without faith, huh? It's impossible, huh? To please the Lord, huh? My little girl, Rosie, said, uh, uh, without faith, I can't breathe. Huh? I wouldn't even want to live, uh, if I didn't have faith, huh? Uh, let me tell you something. Faith uh, will lead you uh, a little bit farther. Uh, faith uh, will make you uh, put down that dope. Uh, faith will make you put down that alcohol bottle. Faith 
or make you put down that booger sugar. Let me tell you something. God's been good to us. Uh, Sometimes you might get weary. Uh, and I tell you, I just get caught up driving in my car and I don't know where your war room is. Uh, but I tell you, my war room uh, is in my vehicle. That's why I preach most of my sermons in my vehicle because I need some alone time. Uh, and when I look around, uh, I walk by somebody. Uh, I see them on the street holding up a sign. I stop, give them a couple of dollars because I know uh, it's only by God's grace and his mercy that it's not me standing out there. Let me tell you something. Faith uh, will make you see things through spiritual eyes. Uh, you may not see it in human eyes. Uh, it'll make you see the glass half full instead of half empty. Let me tell you something. You can keep on running, uh, running to see what the end's going to be uh, when you have faith. Uh, I know God specializes. Uh, he specializes in renewal. Uh, he specializes in restoration. He specializes in makeover. Uh, God delivered me uh, and he brought me uh, from a burning hell and I'm so glad about it uh, that God uh, has got me uh, and he won't let me go uh, and I'm so glad the enemy uh, can't snatch me out of my master's hand uh, and I'm going to keep on running uh, I've been through some hard times uh, but I wouldn't take nothing for my journey uh, because God has been good uh, to me and he keep on being good uh, uh, I tell you something uh, I was uh, a diabetic uh, for many years uh, but I prayed uh, and by by faith, the Lord uh, took me off the diabetic medicine. Somebody need to help me lift Jesus. Uh, if you're going through something, people want to throw in the towel, uh, want to put that gun to the head. But let me tell you something, just a little faith, uh, the size of a mustard seed. You say, mountain, uh, be moved. Uh, uh, I'm a child of the Almighty, uh, and you can't take my joy, devil, because when I get this Pardon, huh? When I get discouraged, huh? I reach down huh? and into that faith pool. Uh, uh, it's a surplus uh, that's never uh, uh, empty. And uh, I keep on, uh, and I keep on reaching down a little more, and it makes me go a little higher. God has been good to me, and I know uh, all about him. I know too much about him uh, to let him go. Uh, but every time, uh, I need a little more faith uh, to be an encouragement to somebody. Uh, I want somebody to know Despite what's going on, uh, uh, the pandemic, uh, it ain't nothing because we serve a bigger God. You got to understand, uh, uh, King David, uh, he didn't run uh, from Goliath. What he did, he got those stones uh, and he ran uh, to uh, uh, Goliath and he said, uh, I'm going to uh, take your head uh, and you will know that there's a God in Israel. I'm here to tell y'all. Uh, that God is here, and Corona is Goliath, huh? but David, huh, uh, just like God is David, he'll throw a stone and he's going to slay it, huh? but God is using this, he's using this to bring people back to him, and God want us to have faith, when it looked like gloom and doom, Every day on the news, huh, you hear something different. Huh? We're going to do this. Huh? They started, uh, we're going to be over this in two weeks. Huh? Then they said we're going to be over this in a month. Huh? Now they're saying it might be to the end of summer. Then some say it might be uh, uh, to 2021. The bottom line is they don't know. Huh? But God, huh? but I'm going to tell you, I don't care whether it's tomorrow huh, or 2000 and. A uh, hundred and... 50. Uh, God is still in charge. Uh, and it's going to end when God says it's going to end. Uh, God is getting us ready. He want to prepare us. But we come this far by faith. And we have to depend on him. Let us come together uh, and keep on uh, praising the Lord. Because he's worthy to be praised. 
times. Uh, and if you know, like I know, uh, uh, when you didn't think you had faith, uh, God pulled you out of a situation. Uh, and he said, uh, uh, let me tell you something. He said, your greatest trial uh, is going to be your greatest victory. Uh, that's what he does. Uh, that's what faith will do for you. Uh, when you didn't know uh, how you was going to get well, uh, the doctor ran all kinds of tests, uh, couldn't find out what's wrong with you. But the ultimate a physician stepped in and they said, wait a minute, uh, I'm going to try this last test uh, because you called on uh, Dr. Jesus, uh, who was the true specialist uh, for your condition. And I'm going to tell you something, a little faith uh, will cure cancer. A little faith uh, will cure bankruptcy. A little faith uh, will cure depression. A little faith will cure hypertension. You just got to have faith uh, in the Lord. Uh, and he will bring you out. Uh, and you can tell somebody, they say, hi, you got over. You said, I come uh, this far uh, by faith, leaning on the Lord. Uh, it was a tedious journey, uh, but I held on and, and I prayed on and, and I pressed on. Like Apostle Paul said, not that I have attained. He said, but I, 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 I press for the prize of the higher calling. Uh, and he said, laid up uh, for me uh, as a crown of righteousness and not only me uh, he said but the Lord the righteous judge uh, will give me on that day uh, and all that love his appearing uh, I'm here to tell you uh, that you have to step out on faith uh, and faith uh, will lead you home step out on faith uh, he's going to lead you through corona step out on faith uh, he's going to lead you through heartache step out on faith is going to lead you through depression, uh, suicidal ideation, uh, mental illness. Uh, you just got to have a little faith. Uh, that's the best medicine and the best thing about it. Uh, you can take as much uh, as you want. Ain't no side effects. Uh, it ain't no uh, uh, risk of becoming addicted. Uh, and But you can call on God uh, in the midnight hour, uh, in the noonday, because he has a line uh, that's never busy. Uh, Good God Almighty to the Lamb of God. He's worthy to be praised. I know somebody know about faith. They needed it and didn't know how they was going to make a way. Didn't know how they was going to uh, take care of their children. May have had a wayward child that they couldn't do nothing with. But they called on the Lord and had just a little bit of faith. And God turned that thing around. That same child that kept you going to CSB is now on the honor roll. Somebody need to know how faith worketh, how patience uh, and patience understanding and God is good uh, and he will give you what you need. He'll give you the desires of your heart, but you got to trust in him and know that a little faith will take care of everything and all you got to do is take one step. And the Lord will take the other step for you. We got a lot of things going on in this world. Bad news after bad news. If we didn't have enough problems, we got a pandemic now. But let me tell you something. What you hold on to uh, is knowing that one of these old days, uh, the new Jerusalem is going to come, uh, is going to come down, uh, and every day going to be Sunday, uh, and every day uh, we're going to be able to praise the Lord. Uh, uh, that sickness that you had, uh, it said there's a tree uh, uh, by the river uh, that grew 12 manna of fruit, uh, and it's going to heal the land. God's going to heal the land one day, uh, but he's waiting, uh, as it says in Second Chronicles, uh, 714 are uh, the people who are 
are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and repent and turn from their wicked ways. He said, I'll heal the land. God is still waiting for people to turn from their wicked ways, to turn around and repent and humble themselves and pray. Pray without ceasing. The Bible said man ought to pray without ceasing. Prayer is a chain of their power to break every chain. And I don't care if you tow up from the flow up. God said, call on me and I'll show you things you know not. As he told Jeremiah, and you know, like Job said, I know my Redeemer live. And I'm just trying to tell you folks to have a little faith. Know that God will take care of you. That he rules and he super rules. And he has a line that's never busy. But you can call him in the midnight hour. And in the noonday, God is able to keep you from falling. And you say, how I got up? I got up through the faith of the Lord. And glory to the Lamb of God. And know that the power in the blood must not suffer loss. So I'm just trying to encourage somebody because it's all kind of gloom and doom. But Jesus is still on the main line. And he, you just tell him what you want. But it goes a little further than that. Once you tell him uh, what you want, uh, you got to come to him in faith uh, and just show him uh, that you're leaning and depending uh, and that you take him at his word. Uh, no matter what it is, uh, it says that you just ask uh, and you will receive, seek, uh, and you will find, knock, and the door shall be open. God wants to bless you, but you have to get prepared. To be blessed by the Lord. Oh, he's worthy to be praised. And know that we just have to stand. Stand on Christ, the solid rock. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. And it is my charge. I want some encourage, want to put some encouragement. And know that God still is in the blessing business, and God is going to bring us through this thing. All we need is some faith. I thank you, Mr. Laura Spate Twin Ministry, and I'm going to have prayer tonight at 7 Chronicles at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and as of April the 19th, you can join if you missed the videos or don't have Facebook. You can catch me on the radio. Oh, 104.3, Sundays at 2.30, then again Mondays at 11 o'clock on 1.11.10 a.m. To God be the glory. God is still in the blessing business, and he just wants you to accept him by faith. May Jesus bless each and every one of you. Be safe. Practice social distancing good sanitary practices, and let us pray one for another. And God is going to bring us through this. And he's going to bring us through because you got to know that you've come this far by faith. It's faith that kept you safe thus far. And faith will lead you home. To God be the glory. Minister Laura Spate, you can check out the videos on Facebook, YouTube, God is a good God. To God be the glory, and may the peace of Jesus be with each and every one of you. Thank you.